Hello people. So today we will see something uh, very interesting and a playful. So uh, so let me show you the output like what we are going to do today. So this is it. So this is actually a mouse magnetic tracker. So this will be useful for the people who wants their user to be engaged in their website. So this will increase the time the user spends on your website, right? So this is uh, something uh, uh, useful for many people. So we will see how to do this uh, today. Right. So this is actually a simple thing. So first of all, let me make the projects ready. Okay, so the project is created for us. So we will make the necessary changes. Let me delete this. This we don't need. Okay, fine. Let's uh, create a stateful widget. So the first thing we are going to do is to use a stack widget because uh, this uh, this thing will be applied above all the contents of your website. So we, it is must to use the stack. So I would suggest you to use uh, all the all of your uh, website children. Uh, above all the things that we are going to create okay yeah so the first thing would be we will create a container oh sorry I haven't created the children's let's do that and this children will go inside this right I'm gonna use uh, the media query to take a size of the whole window. Let me quickly do that. Sorry, it's a height parameter, so we will have to use height. Uh, width, it's the same thing, so let me copy it from the top. Right, so I think this will not require any child's, so we will remove that. And um, for the color, I'm gonna use colors dot white right so the next thing is uh, in order to listen the mouse actually above this container so we will use a mouse region right so in this we are going to use a on hover property so this will give us callback whenever there is an activity by the mouse over the window actually so I will going to name this event whichever parameter we get from on hover so right uh, to give you a demo I will print something so while it is opening let's uh, create the, uh, the, the black icon so the, the black uh, round actually <laughs> okay so let me do that so for this i'm going to use animated container because i'm going to animate its size as well uh, if if the if the element of the mouse moves out of the screen of the window then we will have to reduce its size so i'm going to use animated container it's just an implicit animation widget which will comes in handy for this kind of small things yeah so if you see when I'm hovering, we can see there is an hovered output that we get from this callback. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. Right. Let me save this and let's see what we got here so this is an one simple looking round that we need and uh, we are going to animate its position right so we will have to use uh, an another implicit animated widget so 
that would be animated positioned because uh, we are going to uh, animate this black uh, round black circle uh, like wherever the mouse goes right so we will have to provide something like something like top and something like a left yeah so top will get all the values of uh, y axis and uh, left will get all the values of x axis right so we will come to this part before that we will have to implement uh, something to get the values of uh, the mouse in the window right so we will have to do something like this set state and we will listen to the events okay so we will listen to the events so let me first print so that i can show you what are the values we can get we can get something like this we can get these many values but uh, i need only local position that will do Let me save this and if I open this so wherever I go you will see the values of that okay right so this is the output and uh, we are going to create two variables now which is called dx and dy and we will assign all these values there so that we can pass it to this animated position and get it animated So top, as I said, this is going to take uh, all the y-axis value. So dy, this is going to take all the x-axis value. So dx. Right. So if you can see, it's nicely animated but when I leave the screen this one is not getting any smaller right but uh, from the output we saw that it has to be getting smaller so let's do that but uh, there is uh, no callbacks or anything to check uh, whether the mouse has really uh, left the window actually uh, from flutter as far as I explored I couldn't find any so I'm going to use a JS method for this to be implemented so for that I need a init state and I will import the HTML as well let me do that I will use HTML dot document dot document element so we will add listener to this and type of listening we will have to use mouse leave and we will also check for the mouse entry as well yeah. so first let me create mouse leave so we will do something like to listen to this I will create one other variable so which is is out equal to is out equal to true at in at the at first at first so we will set is out to be true whenever uh, whenever there is a mouse leave event right so let's do that is out equal to true and we will do the same thing for a uh, mouse enter as well mouse enter so this will become false after that right so we will have to handle with this uh, variable the things here so we will do something like this if this is true we will make this size as 0, 0.0 so that it will nicely go down to 0, 0.0 the size of the mouse tracker okay so let me save this and if we see the output as you can see so if I go out of this so this will be gone smoothly 
the same way goes for everything and when you come back in it will come like gradually yeah so that's it folks we'll see you in the next video have a good day bye